We are the Google generation. But what does that actually mean? We have fast access to every piece of information that the human race has ever collected, and we can access it from a computer that fits in our pocket. We Google everything from definitions and sports scores to directions and the world news. There are whole libraries of information available to us from the comfort of our living room couch. We can even talk to people from across the world in a language that we don't know with the press of a button. Our integration with internet search engines is so complete that we turned a corporation name into a verb. Every day, people of our generation Google things that we are interested in or that come up in our daily conversations. But can we remember the answers to these questions days or even hours after we Google them? Well, mad cow disease is actually a disease that affects cows, which I wasn't sure, which is why I Googled it. It's kind of rock. It doesn't look like the moon. L'Oreal Paris, maybe Maybelline. Banana Boats is your standard lotion company, but what are we talking about here? It's in Europe. It's not the Quidditch team that Victor Crumb played for. That is a good question. It's not Kwame Kilpatrick. <laughs> I can tell you that. I'm going to say Cooper. That sounds like a good name. I think I was trying to find the name of an animal that's like a ferret. Starts with an e. It involves some guy that I don't know, and there's something about a rose. An autoimmune disorder? It's the thing that nobody ever has on house. It has nothing to do with dogs. Think about all the things that you Google every week. How would you have gotten that information without the internet? Would you have been able to get it at all? Google can be a great resource for obtaining quick and easy information, but it can have some drawbacks. It might be that we are a little too reliant on the search engine for information that comes up in our daily lives. What was the date of the Titanic disaster? <laughs> All right, the Titanic sank on April 14th to April 15th of 1912. That's where the 12 is coming from, didn't it? Please list all 32 National Football League teams. Can I, should I just write them on the whiteboard? Go for it. I don't want to call it, but I think I have to. Okay, the ones you guys are missing are the Saints, the Jets, and the Ravens. Means nothing to me. Oh, <laughs> ding. What are the dining hall hours for North and South dining halls during a normal school week? During a week? Okay. Um, this is only you. I, I'm off campus. Open. The answers are North Dining Hall is open for breakfast from 7 to 11, lunch from 11 to 2, and dinner from 4.30 to 8. 4.30? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so close. South Dining Hall opens for breakfast at 7, goes until 11, lunch is 11 to 2, and dinner is 4.30 to 9. Alright, well, yeah, <laughs> kind of close. Googling has become so commonplace that it has made a lot of information almost obsolete. A lot of the things that we may have learned in elementary school, like state capitals or spelling words, we can just Google now. Why hold on to all that information when we can just look it up on our phones? Do you know how to spell onomatopoeia? I'm not sure that I do. No. Do you know how to spell aesthetic? Aesthetic? A-S-T-I-A-S-T-I-C. A-S-T-I-A-S. No. A-S-T-E-T-I-C. 
Do you know the capital of New Hampshire? <laughs> Does anyone? No. New Hampshire. No. no. Do you know the capital of Oklahoma? No. Uh, no. No, I'm not at the moment. Is it Oklahoma City? I don't know. Is it Norman? It's not Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Do you know what zero factorial is? Isn't one? Internet searches have completely revolutionized the way we access and retain information. Everyone can access everything, and this has leveled the playing field. No longer are the wealthy or the religious the only people to be educated. Instead, anyone can find anything that they are curious about. As the most technologically advanced generation, we rely on Google more than anyone else. We Google constantly, and almost always forget whatever it was immediately. Even though we retain so little of what we Google, we also tend to get anxious and stressed when we don't have access to the search engine. Despite all the effort we put into learning state capitals and SAT vocabulary, our constant access to the internet has made memorization of these things completely unnecessary. As we grow up and enter the job market, our access to the internet could change the way our world runs. After all, we are the Google generation. There's going to be a little like red button flashing on the There is a red button flashing. So it's going now? It's going now. Okay. <laughs>